Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, WebGL Series Episode 84. This time we're going to be looking at 3D objects with textures. So we've previously done textures in here, um, but we're going to go ahead. We didn't only did it in two dimensions, and now we're going to do it in three and just kind of show what it looks like. And uh, this also has lighting as well. So um, all things you've seen before, but combined together. So we're going to be using the stained glass here. Uh, we can go ahead and jump actually into our vertex shader. We're going to be taking the uh, varying vertex coordinates um, that we've seen before, as well as the attribute uh, texture coordinates. We'll be setting this so that the fragment shader will be able to consume that. And then over here, in our fragment shader, we have all of our regular lighting code. The main difference being, rather than having the V color pass in, we're going to have this VTEX cord. We're going to go ahead and set the text zero based off that uh, sampler to zero, the 2D that you've seen before. And then we're going to go ahead and rather than seeing the uh, V color multiplied with the diffuse and ambient lighting, we're just going to go ahead and set the RGB values of the texture and set the GL frag color based off that. Alternatively, if you don't want to do that, you can go ahead and just figure out the light weight, um, the weight of the light for each uh, fragment using the diffuse and the ambient, adding those together, and then multiplying it all out afterward. These end up being the exact same. Um, one may be faster programmatically, um, and for the GPUs, I am not sure of that. Um, either way, um, easy stuff to change if you find out one is more efficient than the other. So let's go ahead and jump into the code here. Um, we have our images, we just have that texture stained glass uh, as before, um, and then our lighting values and the position and, and whatnot. And as we scroll down here, the new thing is this texture coordinates, which is passed in. Uh, we know this set it as the size of two. And that's the texture coordinates, as you know, is between zero and one. Same indices as before. And um, going ahead and setting within the draw, we're going to go ahead and grab the use sampler here and make sure to uh, set that down here. Finally, in the textures, we're going to go ahead and activate it, and we're going to go ahead and grab that texture and uh, put it on the uniform, and then finally draw. Uh, the other thing that we're going to go ahead and do here is we're going to say we're only using, for the render, the Vertex Shader 3, which is the one that has all this U sampler code in it. Um, and then I don't know that there's anything else down here other than the texture code that you've previously seen in other episodes. We're going to have initialize the images uh, upon load and setting the texture sources and then within our state of the application loading that source on the textures so that we can access them and then loading the texture with the uh, given parameters that we used before. And that's basically it. So you can see here we have this cube loaded up with all the different textures on it. Um, kind of nice and you can see the lighting works well. So um, that's it for this episode. If you like what you saw, go ahead and subscribe and like this video on YouTube. That'll help me a lot. Share on social media if you all. Go to uh, probingtil.com and sign up for my newsletter. Have a great one. Thanks.